There we go. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening Katia. teacher. Good evening, Maria. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elba. How are you, teacher? I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking, Katia. How about you? How okay. are you doing today? Today I am very tired. I am very tired, teacher, because I went to the gyms uh, to dance class for two hours. Oh, really? Okay, that sounds really good. Very good, Katia. Yes. So <laughs> I can imagine that you are really tired because I think that dancing is a really good exercise. I mean, yes. I can dance. I love dance, teacher. Very good. Okay, very I good. I love. <laughs> yes. What kind of uh, what kind of music? Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of music do you dance? What kind of music do you like to dance? Salsa, eh, merengue. I like cumbia. Cumbia. Okay. Nice. Yes. Eh, a little. I don't know. Reggaeton. Very good. Okay. Daddy okay. Yankee. Daddy Yankee. Okay, good. Are you going to the concert? I think that he's coming in a couple of days, I think. I hope. Si se apiaran de mí, teacher, y me les regale. Ojalá que nos ganemos en un sorteo por ahí, ¿verdad? Unas entradas. Yes. Yes, uh, I will do the... the, the este pasa dicha la entrada I don't know um, the ticket for the for the ticket for the concert the this sat Saturday the 90 pop tour oh okay yes oh, that sounds good very good well hopefully you. hopefully Katia you can get the tickets so you can go to the concert because I think that I think that it's going to be a good concert Yes, teacher. So hopefully. <laughs> Very good. So what about the others? How are you doing today, guys? Anything that you would like to share with the class? What did you do today, Alejandro? And I could... I could finish um, a job that I that's that I didn't know how to finish. So I see. I, at the end, I could finish. I see. Well, that's that happens. That happens sometimes. Sometimes we don't know how to do things, but we find a way how to do it at the end. So I think that you will figure it out, Alejandro. Excuse me. I think that you will find a way to do it at the end. I don't want to send you so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little bit um uh, I will try to <clears throat> I will try to make an effort because I'm I'm a little bit speechless today. I don't know why. So I'm going to try mm -hmm. to uh, slow down so you can understand what I'm saying. So okay. yes. what I'm trying to say, Alejandro, is that I I think that you will find a way, you will find a way to do whatever that you need to do. Okay, that's what I think. Exactly. That, that, yeah, that, then that's happening today. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I did fine. Okay. No, very I good. Found, I found the way. You I found think. it. Okay. Yes, I found it. Very good. Very good, Alejandro. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear yes, that. Yes, very happy. Very happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I mean, sometimes that is like the most challenging part. For the jobs, usually it's when we don't know how to do something. So I know what it's like. I mean, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> but that's fine. Very good. Bueno, guys, eh, muchas gracias otra vez por estar acá. Bienvenidos, guys. Ya este el último, la última clase de la semana, verdad? Porque mañana vamos a descansar. Okay. Very good. I think that just next week, because we have the holiday on November the 2nd, I think that next week we are not going to have class 
on Wednesday. And then we're going to we're going to cover, we're going to have the class on Friday. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that, guys, because I think that uh, Wednesday, since it is a holiday, most likely we are not going to have the class that day, but we're going to have the class on Friday. So most likely that is what is going to happen. But okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. So all right, so today, guys, we're going to talk about a new subject, a new, uh, I'm sorry, a new topic, a new topic. Uh, I think that it is the, basically the last topic that we have for this week. So you guys can complete with all of the activities that you have on the platform. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay, we're going to do that today. All right, so uh, do you guys have any questions for me? Anything, any concerns, anything that you would like to say before we start? Algún consejo, alguna recomendación? Todo es aceptado aquí, ¿verdad? Okay, no okay. okay. So let's, con let's start, let's begin. Okay, guys, just a moment. You see, my mic is broke, so sorry. Okay. Okay, not a problem. Uh, Gabriel, don't worry. No worries. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. How are you doing today? Very well. Happy to hear that, Carlos. Very good. Very good. Thank you for being here. So today, guys, uh, we're going to do basically the same thing that we do every day. I want to encourage you guys so we can practice because that is I think that that is the most important thing that you guys can practice so we can improve so we can learn new things I think that when when you guys have the opportunity uh, to practice with a classmate uh, sometimes uh, you can discover new vocabulary you can discover new ways to do things so we're going to practice at the end okay so Okay, I'm going to share the presentation, guys, so we can uh, so we can begin. So here we go. All right. So for today, guys, we're going to be talking about the sequence adverbs. Okay. Sequence adverbs. Okay. Uh, so does anybody remember what an adverb is? We have the adjectives. Adjectives describe a quality, okay? Usually adjectives describe the quality of something or someone, okay? Like we can say, he is very tall. So tall is an adjective because it describes the quality of a person or it can describe the quality of something, okay? But what what is an adverb? Guys, do you have any idea what an adverb is? No, okay. Bueno, los adverbios, guys, eh, tanto en el inglés como en el español, funcionan. Okay, not a problem, Calmer. That's fine, okay. Okay, bueno. Eh, los adverbios, tanto como en español como en inglés, funcionan, guys, para darle sentido a una acción. ¿De acuerdo? Normalmente modifican, modifican el sentido de una acción. Por ejemplo, y eso es lo que vamos a estudiar el día de ahora. We have the definition here, guys. So, sequence adverbs are used to describe the order in which two or more actions happen and help us understand the time relationship between sentences and ideas. ¿Ok? So as you can see, uh, these adverbs, the sequence adverbs, are words that are going to help us so we can describe the order in what an action occurs and what the action happens, okay? So sequence adverbs or sequence markers, okay? Se puede decir de las dos formas, tanto sequence adverbs or sequence markers. Basically, both of them are the same thing, okay? We have, there are, you know, 
many sequence adverbs, but the most common, the most common ones are these. We have first, next, then, and finally. Okay, but we have others. Okay, we have many others like after, before, and things like that. Okay, so we have different uh, sequence adverbs, guys, that we can use. Never, teacher. Uh, never. No, I think that 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 would that wouldn't be included in this case because we're talking about a sequence. Oh, later. And sometimes. Yeah. Later, yes. Eh, no, ese sería de frecuencia. Ok, esos son de frecuencia. Ah, yeah. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, Katia. Yes, very good. Esos son de frecuencia, como sometimes, every day, usually, eh, usually seldom. Yes. yes, teacher. No? Very good. <laughs> I'm confused. Thank <laughs> that's okay. You. You're welcome. You're welcome, Katia. Not a problem. But that's good. Thank that you, is sir. good. Those are also adverbs, ok? Okay, so somebody, okay, so Gabriel says, uh, after that, next, first, and finally. Very good, very good. Okay, entonces, ¿para qué vamos a utilizar nosotros estas palabras? Básicamente, nosotros lo utilizamos para describir la secuencia en lo que una acción eh, se, se realiza. Lo podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, para describir cómo se elabora un alimento, una receta. Ok, ya lo vamos a ver. De hecho, yo les quería compartir por acá, vamos a ver un video rapidito en el cual explica eso. Y lo vamos a analizar todos juntos, ¿de acuerdo? Así que se lo voy a compartir, guys, lo vamos a ver. Y vamos a, luego vamos a practicar esto. Quiero que ustedes me digan, eh, puede ser una receta, puede ser una actividad que ustedes hagan utilizando estos adverbios de secuencias, ¿de acuerdo? Así que les voy a compartir el video, guys. Or oh, do you need uh, do you need time so you can write this down or do you or are you guys fine with this? Or do you want me to leave the screen like it is for a moment? Or can we just watch the video instead? Can can we can we watch the video guys? Or do you need to write this down? The video teacher. Okay, let's watch the video. Okay, very good. All right, so I'm going to share the video with you guys. Okay, we're going to watch it very quickly so here we go okay lo vamos a escuchar guys todos juntos es un video bastante corto la verdad hello everyone vamos a ver yeah, vamos a poner aquí. okay here we go guys in this class you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs for example you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it in order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently. Okay, guys, denme solo un segundo. Lo voy a retroceder un poco porque creo que estaba incrementada la velocidad. Así que va muy rápido. Lo voy a retroceder so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. 
It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then. Lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we... <clears throat> De acuerdo. Entonces, en este caso, guys, eh, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Si ustedes se fijan, tenemos estos adverbios. Son first, then, next, after that, and finally. Okay? So, each one of them uh, goes with one of the steps, okay, in the process. Okay, we have step number one. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Okay, that will be the first step in the process. Then, Step number two, toast the slices of, of bread. Okay, then toast the slices of bread. Step number two. Number three, next, spread the mixture on the toast. Step number four, after that, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. And finally, fry the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. Okay. Entonces, básicamente, cada uno de estos adverbios va a ir al principio de cada uno de los pasos que nosotros vamos a describir para este proceso, que puede ser, como les estaba mencionando, puede ser un proceso de la elaboración de una receta o puede ser otro proceso. Por ejemplo, eh, y ya se lo voy a mostrar más adelante, es como si ustedes quieren describir, eh, bueno, puede ser un proceso de trabajo, puede ser un proceso que ustedes realizan en la casa, como por ejemplo, eh, digamos, por la mañana, primero me despierto. Then I get up from bed. I get up from bed at 7 a.m. Next, I brush my teeth. After that, I, I have breakfast, for example, okay? So you can use these sequence adverbs so you can describe uh, like a process or something that has different steps, ok guys entonces lo que vamos a estar utilizando es cada uno de estos y siempre va a ir al principio de la oración para cada paso, first then, next after that, and finally, ok aquí en este momento estamos analizando eh, una receta entonces, no sé si tienen alguna duda con alguno de los verbos que están acá, si ustedes ven hay bastantes verbos relacionados con cocina, con Procesos de cocina. Mix the peanut butter. Ok, aquí es mezcle la mantequilla de maní. Luego acá está tostar las rebanadas. Slices of bread. Ok, slices. Then spread the mixture. Ok, luego dice esparza la mezcla en la tostada. On the toast. Ok, remember guys that we use on when we are talking about a surface, okay? Like in this case, a toast. So we are putting the mixture 
all over the surface of the toast. That is the reason why we say spread the mixture on the toast, okay? Then it says, put the sandwich in a pan with butter, okay? A pan is una sartén, de acuerdo, guys? Para los que no lo, hay, lo hayan escuchado antes, pues solamente se los quería comentar. Creo que ya tal vez algunos lo conocen, pero para los que no, pan es una sartén, ¿de acuerdo? Y butter, pues mantequilla, ¿de acuerdo? And the last step, it says, fry the sandwich until it's brown on both sides, ¿ok? Luego freír el sándwich o el emparedado en español hasta que esté de color café en ambos lados, ¿de acuerdo? Bueno, entonces lo que vamos a hacer ahora es lo siguiente. Eh, aquí al principio, por acá, están describiendo las recetas, ¿ok? Están diciendo qué pasos hay que seguir, pero pues no, no dice cuál es cada uno de los platillos. Entonces vamos a escucharlo y vamos a identificar a qué platillos se están refiriendo, ¿de acuerdo? Quiero que ustedes lo escuchen y que me digan cada uno cuál es el platillo del que se está hablando. Eso vamos a hacer. Vamos a empezar. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál sería este, guys? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué, pudieron ustedes, ¿qué pudieron ustedes captar? Popcorn. Ok. Can you explain us why? Eh, what steps did you catch from the, from the audio? What did it say? Put the oil in the... Sí, muy bien, muy bien, Jenny. Yes, yes, it said something like that. Vamos a ver, alguien que le ayude a Jenny, por favor. What was the first step? So, first, it says, first put the oil in a pan. Ok, ¿cómo sería entonces? Vamos a ver quién es que está diciendo. Put the oil in a pan. First, put the oil on the pan. Yes, on vamos, the pan. A, okay. vamos, a, vamos a escucharlo otra vez, guys. Creo que era on. Vamos a ver. Vamos a retroceder un poco. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Okay, first, put the oil in a pan. Okay, muy bien. So, step number one, first, put the oil in a pan. Muy bien. Ok, what would be step number two? ¿Alguien que se acuerde? Vamos a escuchar. Vamos a escuchar, guys. Creo que ya... Then heat the oil. Next. Ok, ¿qué dice que tenemos que hacer después? Heat the oil. Very good. So, ¿cómo sería? Then heat the oil. Yeah. Thank okay. you, there. Very good. Very good. Okay, vamos a continuar. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the... Okay. Lo vamos a escuchar otra vez, guys. Vamos a darle un poquito para atrás. Four, four, please. ¿Cómo? No. <laughs> ok. Así ¿Cómo? regaño yo a mis hijos cuando estoy en clase en inglés. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> All right, so we're going to listen. Uh... Sorry. No problem, no problem. You're fine. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Ok. Then heat the oil. Ok. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernel... Ok, ¿cómo dice ahí? Vamos a ver. Put in the kernels. Can you spell it? Corn, C-O-R-N. 
T O R N A E S S, I think. Give me just a second. Here, let me. Okay. Uh, can you please repeat it one more time? You said C O O R N E and W S, I think. E W Corneus. Okay. You think it is Corneus? Okay. Entonces, no, creo que en este caso, eh, muchas gracias, pero creo que en este caso serían, eh, dice kernels, ok, sería K, kernels. E, R, N, E, L, L, S. I'm sorry, it's just one L, it's just kernels. Se lo voy a poner por acá. Vamos. What is the meaning, teacher? ¿Cómo? What is the meaning of this word? Eh, kernels son, ¿cómo le puedo explicar? Granos. Son los granos, correcto, los granos. Ah, Básicamente okay. los granos. Ok, teacher, thank you. Yo, welcome, ok. Se lo voy a anotar por acá para que lo vean. Permítame un instante, guys. Entonces dice, aquí lo vamos a poner. Kernels, así. Aquí está, para que ustedes lo puedan anotar. Entonces vamos a pasar otra vez para que lo puedan escuchar. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a Okay, then it says shake the pan gently every few seconds. Shake the pan gently every few seconds. Okay. A minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Vaya, ¿cuál era el último paso aquí, guys? Enjoy. Final. Sí, antes de ese, antes de ese. <risa> Finally, put uh, butter. Ponerlo como poner como en un bol. Depósito. <risa> Correcto, sí, ese era. Es verterlo, ¿ok? Verterlo. Aquí está. Se lo voy a colocar acá, guys. Dice, Paul... Poured it into a bowl. And finally put the... Uh -huh. No. Sí, sí. Diga. Sí, está bien, diga. Mantequilla. Put the butter. No. Ajá, put it's, the it's, butter. Vamos a ver, dice, uh, al, dice algo de eso. And enjoy this. And enjoy, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the final <laughs> step. Okay, we're going to listen to it again, guys. Okay. Please. <laughs> and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Okay, ya escucharon, dice, put a little salt on it. That is like okay. the, last, the last thing, then enjoy. That's what it says. Yes, sal. Colocarle un poco de sal, correcto. Yes. Okay, very good, very good job, guys. We're going to continue, we're going to listen to the next one, okay? Here we go. Okay. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. Okay, ¿cuál sería acá? First, uh, cut the avocado. Mm -hmm. First, cut the avocado. Avocado. And uh, mash it. Off the heat and enjoy this snack. First, 
take an avocado and mash it. Ok. Entonces no dice cut. Take an avocado. Take uh -huh. an avocado. Dice take the... an avocado and then... I don't, I, I don't, I can understand the second word, teacher. And mash it. Avo... Mash. mash mm -hmm. Como molerlo, como apacharlo, algo así. Correcto. Básicamente es, es como triturarlo, machacarlo, a eso se refiere. Uh, mash it. Okay. Ajá. Ustedes pueden escuchar bastante mash potatoes, que es puré de papa. Mm -hmm. Entonces, mm -hmm. match es eso, es un puré. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Take an avocado and mash them. Ok. Next, I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, mash it. you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop... Ok. Acá dice que tomemos la mitad de un tomate, la mitad de una cebolla y que lo cortemos. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dice? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ponerlo otra vez. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that... Ok. ¿Cómo dice? A ver. And them to the avocado. Dice chop. Lo agreguemos al, al aguacate. Dice chop half a tomato. And half an onion. An onion. Very good. Yes, very good. So it says chop half a tomato and half an onion. Ok. Este verbo significa eh, cortar. Ok. Nos está diciendo que cort yes. uh -huh. cortar. Solo para que salgamos de las dudas. Cortar. Chop. Chop. Mm -hmm. Very good. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half. Then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. From New York City taught A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. De acuerdo. Entonces, guys, quisiera que hagamos algo. Vamos a... Ok, vamos a practicar un poquito, ¿de acuerdo? Y al final, pues, vamos a... Quiero que esta vez no nos quedemos hasta el final practicando, sino terminar unos minutos antes. Entonces, vamos a practicar. Antes de hacer eso, ¿tienen alguna pregunta antes de que podamos practicar? Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Vamos a utilizar estos adverbios y quiero que ustedes puedan describir una receta si ustedes gustan, puede ser una receta cualquiera que ustedes gusten como por ejemplo hacer huevos fritos hacer una pizza, lo que ustedes gusten o puede ser otra cosa ¿de acuerdo? Al de orange okay, uh -huh. entonces eso vamos a hacer vamos a practicar y al final vamos a, bueno yo voy a estar revisando con ustedes y al final pues quisiera que podamos tener un momento solamente para revisar eh, algún par de cositas para terminar. Así que vamos a practicar un ratito, guys. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. Here we go, guys. Let's practice a little bit.
I see. Okay, so here we go. Yes, uh, do you have a uh, uh, receta? No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Recipe. <laughs> recipe. <laughs> you have a re re recipe. Mm -hmm. Recipe. Okay, yes. do you have a recipe? <laughs> I, I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, but... Um, uh, we made we we can make okay <laughs> you can talk about anything that you want that you want to guys for example you can talk about the process in how to make a coffee a cup of coffee for example you can say first uh... boil the water then uh, you put the coffee uh, in the cup after that uh, you add like two tablespoons of sugar. I mean, that is just an example for you guys, but you can say anything that you want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah, veo. Ya veo. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. 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 Eh, pueden, sí. pueden hablar, eh, como les estaba mencionando, eh, por ejemplo, uh, first I wake up in the morning at 6 a.m. Then I get up from bed, from the bed at 7 a.m. After that, I, I brush my teeth and finally I have breakfast or finally I go to work or something like that. That is just an example. But it can be about anything. We just need to use the sequence adverbs that we are uh, talking about in the class. Okay. I have I have a recipe. Uh, I make um, some. Uh, I prepare food for my daughters in the in the morning. Okay. And they likes uh, bread with um uh butter okay okay it's simple Great. but <laughs> yeah that's fine that's fine okay yeah. okay first uh first. cut half the the bread and next put some butter uh, into the the bread um uh, then put the bread in into the um, uh, como dijo olla eh, sartén eh. pan pan, ah, pan. Mm -hmm. put the bread into the pan hit the the pan uh, after after that hit the pan mm -hmm. uh and, and finally, they uh, enjoy the, the, the bread Very with <laughs> That is good. Very good, Carlos. Yes. I think that it is really challenging. It can be difficult at the beginning, but very good. Very good job. Okay. Me gusta porque estamos pensando, ¿verdad? Es como que estamos ahí y nos está costando. Pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos, guys. Very good. Es que, es que uno, uno piensa en español decir las cosas en inglés, ¿verdad? Sí. Un amigo me decía a mí, no, pensá, pensá que vas a decir todo en inglés, no, no, no estés pensando en español y después traducís. Sí, sí. Y, y sí cuesta porque uno está buscando las palabras, <risa> las palabras. <risa> es que esto nos ayuda bastante a que podamos recordar ese vocabulario que tal vez alguna vez aprendimos. Y bueno, nos esforzamos para recordarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. eso es lo bueno. Entonces, muy bien, muy bien, muy buen trabajo. Ahora Maritza va a ser el turno de ella. Este, okay. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys. Me voy, creo que voy a pasar con otros compañeros. Teacher, ¿no? sí. only, 
¿cómo, cómo digo cortar? Uh, por ejemplo, quiero cortar vegetales o una papa, por decir algo. <ríe> Le quiero hacer pedacitos. <ríe> Uh -huh. Sí, <ríe> lo quiero hacer pedacito, lo quiero hacer picadillo. Sí. Vaya, en ese caso tiene que usar el verbo chop, like chop, uh, ajá, chop a potato, es C-H-O-P, de papá. Sí, ajá, uh -huh. okay. Sería así. Entonces usted dice chop, you can say chop. a potato or chop half a potato or things like that or chop the vegetables eh, así okay. son como ejemplos okay thanks teacher you're welcome okay so i'm going to move to another room so i can practice with other classmates so bye guys okay thank bye, you teacher is the piano piano butter and banana together then to us the slices no sé slices or bread slices slices okay. of bread okay next spread spread the mixture the on mixture the toast. mixture mm -hmm. yes on the toast. Um, after that after put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Hasta ahí lo tengo. Okay. Okay. Teacher, yes. Uh, my word routine. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Finish. He arrived. At the office, review the long from the previous ship. Okay. Next, I send the report of the ten, ten, technicos in, in, in English. Ten, technicos in technician. English. Technician. Technician. Mm -hmm. Technician on duty. Mm -hmm. uh, then, can the daily. Mantenimiento en inglés, teacher. Maintenance. 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 Then can the daily maintenance meeting. Mm -hmm. Finally, I <coughs> explain the failures of the previous shift, if any. Okay. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Thank you, teacher. Thank Muy you. bien, Miguel. Okay, so uh, you said. Vamos a ver, usted dijo que primero usted llega, usted llega, ¿verdad? A su trabajo. Sí. Y, re, y revisa. La revisa bitácora, lo... la bitácora del turno anterior. Ah, ok. From the sí. previous, uh -huh. sí. From the previous no. shift. Ok. From, from the previous shift. Ok. Luego, el eh, siguiente, firmo los reportes de los técnicos de turno, porque siempre me dejan los reportes por escrito. Después... Okay. Llego a la reunión diaria de mantenimiento. Finalmente, explico las averías del turno anterior, si hubieron. Very good. Muy bien. Me gusta mucho, Miguel. Es excelente. Muy bien. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Hace falta job, mucho eh. que practicar de parte mía. Siento que me cuesta bastante. Pero no hay poco, problema. Poco, espero ir aprendiendo. Que, no hay problema. Lo que pasa es que... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Ah, eh, aquí hay bastantes palabras nuevas para mí. En este caso, de, de las cosas de, de cocina que hemos estado viendo, son palabras bastante nuevas. Creo que casi no conozco mucho, papá. Okay. Pero poco a poco vamos a ir repasando. Teacher, my, my fresh orange, uh -huh. o sea, mi fresco de naranja, uh -huh. fish peel orange in extract juice. Next, I mix water with the juice in the blender. Mm -hmm. Then, agregar, si no sé cómo se dice. Add. Then add. Then add sugar to test, al gusto. Finally, I serve a server. Serve. Serve. Mm -hmm. In the, in, in a glass, in un vaso. 
Ok, bueno, muy bien. Ok, okay muy bien. Carlos, parece que Carlos no, no cocina mucho, ¿verdad? Porque le cuesta un poquito más. Sí, yo como vivo solo, tengo que hacerlo. ¿Verdad? Nos toca, tiene razón. Sí, sí claro. No, pero está, está bien. Este, bueno, en el caso de este, eh, solamente usted me dijo que es para su jugo de naranja, ¿verdad? De naranja, sí. Entonces, uh, you can say like, uh, first, uh, you know, for the orange juice, first, you extract okay. the juice from the orange. Next, ah, okay. you mix the water with the orange juice in the blender. Okay. And then Next. Uh, sí. you add the sugar uh, to taste. Yes. Es el, el gusto, to taste. Sí, sí. And then uh, finally serve in a glass. Yes. <clears throat> finally, I serve in the glass. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Ahí está. Ahí estamos. Gracias, teacher. Muy bien, muy bien. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys. Solo tenemos que practicar y como dice Carlos, ¿verdad? El vocabulario tenemos que buscarlo un poquito. Con el tiempo se nos va a volver más fácil. Pero esto, esto nos sirve como un ejercicio para esforzarnos, para tratar de, no sé, que nuestra mente trabaje, ¿verdad? Que... Sí, correcto. Así que, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys, antes de que me retire. No, no, teacher. No, Vamos a seguir formulando más recetas. Ok, very good. You can do whatever you guys want to like a cup of coffee or fried uh, pot fried potatoes or fried eggs, whatever you want, okay? It can be okay. anything. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, guys. Uh, Nadia? Are you there? Hello? Nadia? She's gone. Okay. Vamos a ver. Dice Cristian. Que ellos tienen más la práctica con colchonero, cosas así. Entonces, hablan sí. más rápido. Sí, no, pero... no tanto de, ajá, la, el grama. En cambio, él usa bastante el grama, tiro, pailiro. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, bastante bien. También que la práctica es buena también, vea, pero hay que valorar ciertos puntos. Yo he aprendido mucho aquí. Yo empecé desde cero. Sí, yo igual. Uh -huh. de cero. Lo poquito que sé, aquí lo he aprendido. Sí. Miren, nos están sí. grabando. Ah, qué bueno. <risa> El teacher ahora estamos trabajando. Pero yeah. ya tenemos nuestra oración. Ok, very good. So, can you. What yeah. examples do you have, guys? Do you, would you like to share the examples with me? Or... Ok. Um, okay. Go ahead. Um, Mary. <sighs> My recipe okay. is eggs with ham. Okay. Um, first, cut onions and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Next, put oil on the pan. Then, put the onions and tomatoes in the pan. Um, after, and, and ham. After, put the, put the salt. Finally, uh, poke the eggs and scramble. Okay. Let me see. Ah. I just, I think I missed the last two steps. So you said put onions and tomatoes and the ham. And then after that, put the salt. So I, mm -hmm. I missed, I didn't catch the last part that you said. Could you Repeat it, Eduardo. Um, then pop on the onion and tomato and, and ham. After, pop the salt. Mm -hmm. Finally, pop the eggs and scramble. Finally, put the eggs and scramble. Okay. 
Okay, very good. So finally, put the eggs in a scramble. Okay, that's fine. Very good, very good. Muy bien, gracias, eh, Eduardo. Usted, eh, Elizabeth, ¿qué tal? ¿Hizo algún ejemplo usted? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So, first I put my thumb under my cooking. Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah. Perdón que le interrumpa. No sé si tal vez tiene tapado el micrófono porque se le oye bien poquito. Oh. Ahí sorry, está. Teacher. Ahí está, perfecto. Vaya, eh, comencemos de regreso. Let's start over, please. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, first, uh -huh. I put my thumb under my cooking. Next, I put two little water into my stem. stem. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa arte? Stem. Eh, stem. Lo estábamos diciendo como pan. P-A-N. Pan. Uh -huh. pan. In my pan. Okay. I put two little water into my pan. Uh -huh. Next, I take any onions into the span. After then, I put one cup of salt. Mm -hmm. Finally, I enjoy my <laughs> soap of cream. Okay, very good. I, I put my soap and a little a little bowl under my table. Okay. Okay. I enjoy myself. <laughs> okay, very good. So just a couple of things, Elizabeth. So you are talking about the recipe for bean soup, right? Because we have chicken soup, we have noodle soup, things like that, okay? In this case, if you're talking about beans, that would be bean soup, beans soup. Uh, okay, and it is soup. Okay, bean soup. Mm -hmm. I was prepared bean soup. Yes. Yeah, just like that. Okay, soup. That's how you are supposed to pronounce it. So, eh, what was the first step again? I'm sorry. The first step that you said. You said first I under my cooking. Okay. Yeah. Pudiera, pudiera repetir la primera parte, por favor. Yes. Uh, first, mm -hmm. I put mm -hmm. under my cooking mm -hmm. my span. Then, okay. I take one scoop of salt. One cup of salt, okay. Uh -huh. before, before then, I put any onions into my span. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, I enjoy my bean soup. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, eh, solamente un par de cositas, Elizabeth. Creo que usted está intentando decir que usted pone eh, su la sartén sobre la cocina. Yes. Yeah. ¿Es, ¿Es eso correcto? Yeah. Yes, okay. teacher. Eh, si quiere decir que está sobre, eh, lo más recomendable sería que diga on en lugar de mm. under, en lugar de under, porque under sería por debajo prácticamente. Mm. Ah, pues no, teacher. Sí. I put, I put <laughs> my span on the cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the cooking. Next, I take two little water. Mm -hmm. um, before them, I, 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 before them, I put any onions into, also into, teacher, into in my span. Eh, lo estaba en el ejemplo. Also, lo pongo, I put, mm -hmm. I put only the onions. Eh, usted lo puede decir así. Usted puede decir, I put the onions in a pan. In a pan. Okay. 
Okay. Pon la cebolla en una sartén. Mm -hmm. Entonces, I put, put the onion mm -hmm. in a pan. In a pan. Mm -hmm. uh, after I I take one cup of salt in a pan. Okay. Finally, I enjoy my bean soup. Very good. Okay, that's that. Ese está mejor. Muy bien, muy bien, Elizabeth. Sé que esta parte es un poquito, esta parte tal vez es un poquito así como más complicada por el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Y todo eso, pero vamos a ir aprendiendo poquito a poco. Así que muy, muy, buen, muy bien, este, muy buenos ejemplos y sigamos esforzándonos, ¿verdad? Así que muchas gracias, guys. All right. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. So now, guys, we are going to, we're going to finish with this activity. We are going to go back. And I, there is just a couple of things that I wanted to explain to you before we go, okay? So, okay. we're going to go back. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Sequence adverse. Okay. Hello, guys. Okay, there we go. All right. So, guys, uh, how do you feel? Did you like the activity? Were you able to practice? Do you have any questions about it? No, teacher. Okay. I yes, I I, I no, I don't have questions. You don't have questions. And yes, okay. I like I like the activity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good, guys. Yeah. Okay, I was checking on some of you and I think that you did a great job. So thank you guys for all of the effort that you put every time. And this information that we learned today, this is something that can help you so you can complete all of the activities on the platform, okay? Se las voy a mostrar aquí rapidito antes de que nos vayamos. Vaya, esto, ustedes ya deberían de ser capaces de hacerlo, perdón. Todo esto pues, es prácticamente lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos, yes, which snack does the recipe describe? When the kernel start to pop, eh, dijimos que era popcorn, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Then, number two, what is the last step in making guacamole dip? The last. Finally. Finally, right. Very good. Then, number three, What's the first step in making a toasted bagel? ¿Cuál era? The second one. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Okay, first cut it in half. Very good. Cut it in half. And then number four, guys. It says, which sequence adverbs are not interchangeable? First and finally. Finally. Correcto. Finally. Estos yes, no son intercambiables. Estos yeah. no son intercambiables. Los demás, eh, a medida que vamos avanzando, es, describiendo el proceso, no hay ningún problema, pero con estos si van al principio y al final. Yes. Okay. Entonces vamos a revisar. Ok, so there you go, guys. Eh, ok, so these are the, the questions that you have. I think that you can. In case that you didn't know, now you have the answers to this. But if you have any question, guys, well, you can let me know. You can use the uh, you can use the WhatsApp group. So you can ask any question that you may have. Okay. So okay. So before we go, guys, uh, do you have any questions? Anything else that any concerns? Anything that you would like to say before we go? No, teacher. No, teacher. Thank you. No, teacher. Everything clear. Very good, very good. Well, so thank you guys one more time. Uh, thank you for being here. And I will see you guys on Monday, okay? 
Okay, oh, see. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the weekend, guys. Yeah. Thanks, you too. Thank you, too, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.